Hey everybody, welcome back to another Orcs Must Die 2 mini strat. This time I'm going to be showing you what my general strategy for putting archers behind barricades. As you can see, I already have here barricades, brimstone, one archer set up because you know, obviously you need some time to set this one up, but it can actually be very helpful if you have a bunch of runners going through and you don't want your opening rift, you know, to expose, which actually can happen a lot. Alright, porting over in about, yep, there we go, see? Same setup as before, and when I here you go, you got a frost ogre. And ogres are, always, as far as I'm concerned, ogres are always the big, biggest problem or anything big like that. It's not freaking, you know, sappers or anything or whatnot, because you can handle that. Ogres, there's nothing, never an easy way to handle them. Right, come up around here. On this mission specifically, you know, it can get a little tough. Overall, the ogres, I'm pretty sure on nightmare mode, it can get ridiculous. This, however, is not nightmare mode. This is just normal mode and whatever in a little strat. Alright, he's dead. We're good. Alright, now you guys gotta sell all this stuff and whatnot. Here, because I, I realized mid-playthrough that you have to edit this a bit. So I'm gonna start... You're gonna see me do it this way, but I'm gonna redo that by putting down tar first, then brimstone. I right, see so it. Immediately, I already think better of it. Sorry for that noise. I just got an update on my game, on my computer. Anyway, on the other side. Gonna be editing this a little bit, as you know. Yeah, this is this specific thing is specifically for sappers or cobalts. All right, that's what you need to deal with. All right, obviously if you're gonna put, you need the archers for this to work. So, you know, archers on one side, archers on the other side, building up quite nicely. All right try and get him in the grooves when I make a couple of mistakes there in placement of the archers but overall it's fine see sappers immediately brimstone archers you're good here you're gonna be okay when it comes to that stuff I want an archers archers can do a lot of damage another problem coming right now crossbow orcs they can actually mess your archers up so what you want to do is if you have the money and whatever try and put like arrow traps there or something or something some along those lines just so just so your um, archers actually have a bit of a break. I mean, that's the entire point, isn't it? Put as many traps as you can. And just in case someone gets through, swing your mace. I, I wish I had like two areas to put stuff there, but eh, what can you do, right? Coming through the other side now. See what I mean? The second they touch anything, they're done. Sappers, worthless. Alright, come on you bastards, you freaking brown crossbow bastards, you are not getting through. You are not getting through. You got crossbow? I got crossbow. I got crossbow and archers. What do you got? You got nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Who's boss now? I'm boss now. Me. Come on, come on, a little bit more. Burn alive. Burn alive. Good. Alright, obviously here I go ahead and put another one of them down. I just wanted to port start started off by saying, look, I killed the ogre. Now, with the extra coin we have, we're going to be refitting this a little. Alright. It doesn't really matter that much, I don't think. The only reason I do this is so I can have a less risk of damage by sappers, because they get even a little close. They explode. This way, it's like a lot less vulnerable to sappers. Alright, do that. In there, you should really try and focus putting more in this extra corner. They'd be a lot more effective, in my personal opinion. I don't do it perfectly, of course, and I do. Yes, before anyone says anything, I do know there's an upper balcony. See, see right here. If anything does get past that, they're gonna have to deal with a swinging mace and tar. So you're pretty much set. All right, next, next, next. All right, gotta sell these guys. You know, I always found it funny selling archers. It's like Really? I'm selling archers? Something sounds, seems deceptively wrong with that. Anyway, I mean, they're not traps really, but uh, they're neither here nor there. Here, another you, way to do it, obviously. You. you just set it up there as many archers as you can, and you're good. Gonna hit the hit the play button, and it's coming through. Oh, the oh, thing I always do, throw down like on one side and jump to the other. Smart thing I did because sa because cobalts. I only say sappers when I mean to say cobalts. It's just it's just annoying. Come, 
No, 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 just no. See the other side's fine. Come on, what's going through? Nothing's coming through. Oh, a couple crossbow guys. Oh, please. Yeah, you did. You did. There we go. I, I just wanted to show this off because this is like the most beautiful kill box ever. Oh, it could be a little more beautiful if I had two rows. Right, now we're at the last stretch, so I'm just not going to be skipping anymore. See? Now, obviously when I get more money, I'm going to be putting down brimstone there as a last resort, but you're pretty much done now. Right? This is a good setup and everything else. You can put stuff anywhere at any point, but uh, you're, you're pretty much good with this. See? Already got hit. I saw the explosion touch the barricade. Alright, you green bastards. Let's see what you can do. You want to try and get through? You want to try and get to my roof? Try. I want to see what you think you can do to me. You can die, I know that much. Mm -hmm. See the other side, look at the minimap. It's fine. No problems. You're good. Alright, what's next? Who are we going to be dealing with? Alright. See... See, I mean, maybe I should push him even further back because you can never tell. Oh, come on, Biggin. You want some? You're nothing but a charbroil Biggin. I think there are ice, ice vents and whatever. I should really think about investing in that next time because I didn't even use the hammer. You could also use the coin forge if you're in, feeling in the mood for that. I mean, that's obviously going to be helpful in getting the extra coin you're going to need. See? Look, I need that to pay attention to the other side. This setup? Good. Nightmare mode? Not entirely sure. But for now, meh. And it's like I was telling you earlier. Final wave and whatnot, it's a breeze. And except for that stupid mistake I make where I just jump and place it instead of just landing. Oh well, you can't do you can't do it all right all the time. Oh, now they send the big blue bass with shields. Come on, come on, boom. <laughs> oh that's funny. Just a boom look at that. Oh, two ogres for the price of one. Great. Come on, guys. You want some? Come on, come on, come on. Get in here. Get in here. You don't want this. You don't want this. And you're going to be ground up. I know. You're yeah, grounded. And he's just dead. Rush to the other side. If anyone get through. And I think my guys, if anything, all the fire I had down, took out the frost ogre. Now it's just me and him. And he's... Oh, he stunned me. It's okay. Okay, I got enough health. And boom! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Lightning to this. Anyway, guys, as you can see, that strategy works. It's viable. I don't know for every mission, obviously, there's different setups, but for this mission, that's very viable. Like, comment, subscribe, the whole shebang, guys. Let me know what you want to see. Check out my other vids and whatever I got. I think good stuff. You know, you need to let me know, but, you know, whatever the case is, I'm listening. All right? All right. Have a good night, everybody.